Hey guys, Kathy at North Star Prep Stetter. Things have grown so much since my last garden tour. Look at how tall the tomatoes are. They have just exploded in the last couple of weeks. My borage. These tomatoes are already about four feet tall. Lots of blossoms on there. These are the atomic grape tomatoes. So plants are a little bit smaller and a little finer, a little smaller leaves. They're still growing so well. I've thinned them out a lot on the bottom. As you can see, there's a lot of room. And yes, I use paper mulch here. It helps to keep the dirt from splashing up on the plants, which helps to minimize disease. I'll put the link up above here so you can go check out my video that I did on that. I do have some little tomatoes growing here. So they are going like crazy. I've had to trim back the boards a little bit because it was just flowing right into the middle of all of these, kind of crowding out the tomato plants. But they're really doing very well. So far I have not seen any hornworms or anything, but in general they look really very healthy. The strawberries are doing great, putting out a ton of runners. I need to rein those in and figure out where I want the new plants planted and get those established so that those can be my new plants for next year. But these really do look great. I haven't gotten out here to put the bird netting in yet, so yeah, the birds keep finding the berries. And that's my fault. <laughs> Again, look at this oregano. I've already harvested twice. The anise is starting to flower, and that's actually the part that I want here. Peppermint is doing well. I just harvested these. My bunching onions are growing very, very well. And this is a shallot and some calendula and my chamomile and another shallot there. It just rained, so I don't want to be touching my bean plants. But they are, oh my goodness, they're about two and a half feet high in here. I have just this wonderful canopy. And you can see the blossoms that are forming all over the top here. They're doing very well. Now if you remember, I've got this half of the bed are early contender green bush beans and then this half are the dragon tongue beans. And these are all my onions that I started from seed. Look at how they're growing. I didn't think any of them would recover, but most of them did. And they're standing about 14 inches tall right now. So they're definitely growing. Got some more uh, borage finds its way everywhere. I do have just a few sets in the middle here where um, the seeds didn't take. So it'll be interesting to see the difference when they're finally growing. Everything is so green and lush. And you look at the peppers. We had a storm this last week that just totally flattened all of my banana peppers. I came out and put this wire up to stake them and they're doing very well. In fact, look it, I have my first little banana pepper in there. So in the same bed with the peppers, I have a row of beets. And these are golden beets and then some red beets, a variety of those. A couple rows of carrots. They're all orange carrots. And a board chair in the corner watching over everything. 
than these planters. These were my new ones I built last fall. And they are one foot by eight foot. And I've got three of them in here. Maybe some cabbage moths that just flew in. These beds were kind of an experiment for me this year. I wanted to see how well everything would grow together. And um, some things I would do again, some I wouldn't, but uh, we'll see. I had to do some thinning out. I was hoping that the peas would be all done, but see I planted them late. I was hoping they would be all done so then the squash could just take over the fence. Well, the squash in our super hot summer that we've had, uh, the squash have just taken off and they are taking over everything. <laughs> So I think they would normally do that, but the peas are doing well. They're flowering and producing, have lots of pods. So this um, little squash, I'm, I'm only seeing a lot of males on here. I'm not seeing any females. So I've got lots of blossoms, but not really producing a lot yet. Sunflower is kind of peeking its way here. Then the lettuce is still doing well, even in the heat. Still producing, still tasting very good, didn't bolt. I planted the uh, rocky top lettuce. Now I just harvested a couple days ago, but it's still growing well. I mean, look at all of this. It looks beautiful and it tastes really good. And I have a, um, a butternut squash here, another sunflower here. These are dwarf sunflowers. So if you're wondering why I put like a 10 foot sunflower in these small beds, they're only supposed to be about three feet tall and a calendula plant. So I've already started harvesting the flowers. So this one's gonna get ready to get clipped off. And then I have some beets growing in here. There's some beets in here. So I really need these peas to get done so I can get the squash out of the way so everything else can grow well. It didn't really go quite as planned for the squash, but we're doing it. And then more carrots here. Now these are all tricolor carrots, so I have some orange, some yellow, and some purple carrots. And they're going to be wonderful. These peas are just about getting to the point of harvest. Another sunflower plant. More carrots and peas. And then here I have Swiss chard that is looking gorgeous. I like it to look, get a little bigger so that I can use the stems for food. My mini Greek basil is uh, coming into its own. butternut squash. What I've been doing is trying to train it along the fence and using these clips which have been great. They're really holding it on there well. And then another little squash, another butternut squash. Another sunflower in the, in the corner. Now my Kajari melons are in the planter boxes on either side of my arbor. Lots of blossoms. Uh, haven't been able to tell if if they're fruiting or not. The plants are looking, I don't know, I've never grown Kajari before. They look healthy and yet some of them don't. They're kind of a fine vine, but uh, they're making their way up the trellis on both sides. And my planter boxes are doing well. So you may be wondering why some of the beds are looking a little bit different than the others. On my brand new beds that I built, whenever it rained, it was such a gorgeous color that they turned. and. After having replaced them, seeing how fast that they decay and fall apart, I wanted to preserve them a little bit longer. Now granted the insides won't be preserved quite as well, but I could at least start on the outside. So what I used on these beds was this Australian Timber Oil by Cabot. And the color I used was amber wood. This is a combination of linseed oil, tongue oil, and alkids. 
so it just really soaks right into the wood, amber wood, which is the color that the wood would get when it rained. And I just loved it so much. And it blends in with when the wood chips are wet. And it really makes the green of the plants just pop. And I just love it. And so anyway, put one coat of the timber oil on these new beds, all my new boxes. It just rained, so you can see how the water is um, just beating up on the wood here instead of soaking in, so it is protecting it. As I build my replacement beds this fall for all the other ones that are old and falling apart, I'm going to definitely do this again. It's going to be a bit of work, but it will help the beds last a lot longer. So anyway guys, thank you for coming along. And this updated garden tour, things are growing so fast. Things are already fruiting and we're gonna be in canning mode before we know it. And I hope your garden is doing well. I hope you are getting the food that you had hoped for and that the blessings are flowing. If you guys take care, God bless, always have hope. Bye-bye.